Evan Marinovsky here for NCAA Digital alongside Carter Savoy. Carter, you get the game winner. How did it feel? Amazing. I mean, that's definitely the best goal I've scored in my, my career so far. I mean, hopefully we can get the job done on Saturday here. Now, on that goal, what, what did you see? Was it a blur to you? I mean, what, what, did you kind of see the play developing? What were you noticing on that? Oh, uh, yeah. After, I mean, it was pretty much a blur. Just guys screaming in my ear. Um, obviously, Bob made an unre unbelievable play. Um, got the rebound there. You mentioned Bob. He's up tomorrow, Friday night, for the Hobie Baker. Uh, what's your case for him? What's your reaction going into that event? Yeah, he's had an unbelievable year. I mean, um, he's the leading scorer in the country for a reason. Uh, he's done an excellent job uh, producing offense all year, and uh, we've got to keep it going here for, for Saturday. Now, in this game, we talked a lot yesterday with you and your coach about sort of how you expected this game to go, being more high scoring. Were you surprised that this was more of a low scoring type of game? Uh, no. I mean, our game, we wanted to, to play hard, play heavy, uh, play fast. I mean, and I think we did an un unbelievable job doing that tonight. We stuck to our game plan. Um, obviously, staying out of the box, keeping their power play off the ice was really important for us, too. Now being through a Frozen Four game, are you going to change kind of any of the way you prepare for the national championship on Saturday, or is it the same thing? Uh, no, same, same routine, same thing. Now, uh, a lot of Denver fans in the stands, definitely heard them. How was it to see sort of the turnout for them in this game? Yeah, I mean, it's really good for a school, really, really good for us. Um, pumps our whole team up when they're here. Um, I mean, it's unbelievable to see them in the stands. Carter, best of luck on Saturday. And for all your college hockey content, make sure to follow us over at NCAA.com.